Hey guys, it's Andrew from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I am going to do something a little bit different. Um, if you have been following me for a while now, you know that last year, right about this time, February, March, April, um, I began to paint, and it was all during the shutdowns and the quarantine and everything like that, and um, <clears throat> I have never painted before. I'm not a painter, I still don't consider myself an artist, but I picked up a paintbrush and some acrylic paint that I had and started playing around, and before I knew it, I fell in love with landscape painting. Uh, in May of last year, I finally decided upon many requests to sell my paintings as digital downloads on my blog. You can head to my homepage and you'll see the link right there. It says shop my artwork. And so many of you have purchased my downloadable prints over this past year and for that I am so thankful. One of the requests that I get a lot is for me to teach you guys how to paint landscapes, which really makes me laugh because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure I'm breaking lots of rules and I doubt that I'm even doing anything the correct way. Um, I never took uh, any art classes except for in I don't know, elementary school. Um, I don't even think I took a high school <laughs> art class. Um, but I thought today uh, it's a really cloudy, overcast, chilly day. Um, I thought I would just sit down and do some painting. I have not painted since November when I created those free printables for you guys of the Christmas bells, which were so beautiful and so many of you guys enjoyed those. But it has been since then, November, December, January, February, March, April. So six months has gone by since I have picked up a paintbrush, which makes me very sad. But uh, with, you know, becoming pregnant and going through that first trimester of, you know, just kind of exhaustion, uh, and then homeschooling and everything else that goes along with the busyness of life. I just haven't had the time, or I guess I should say I haven't made the time for it like I should. So today I'm gonna take you guys along with me and it's a little bit vulnerable for me since I haven't even practiced since then and I don't know how today's painting is going to turn out, but I just wanna warm up again. I want to get back at it and so I am going to just film it all for you. You can watch the whole thing and then in my blog post in connection with this video, I'm going to include some of the things that I like to do, some of the steps I like to take in creating a landscape painting, how to keep it really simple. You don't need expensive materials. I will link everything that I use. You'll see in this video that I am not fancy at all. And for all of you true artists out there, I apologize in advance if you cringe as you watch this video, but we're just gonna do a simple four by six today, and I hope it's a help to you. Maybe it'll get your creative juices flowing, and um, I hope it inspires you today. I'm just gonna paint right here at my dining room table today. I like to find a photo of a landscape that really inspires me and I use that for reference and try to paint that. I've tried painting just based off of, you know, imagination, thoughts in my head and it just never works well for me. I know some people really enjoy doing that but <laughs> I've never had luck with that. So that's where I'll start. I like to listen to some beautiful music while I paint. I hope you guys enjoy this today. I know, like I said, it's a little bit different than my usual posts, but hopefully it'll be a help to you if you're kind of wondering where to start. All right, guys, so we are gonna do something really simple today. I'm just using some bas basic um, paper that is meant for oil and acrylic paintings. Uh, I will link this paper in the blog post if you want to know exactly the kind that I'm using. And I'm just starting off with a thicker, uh, like one inch brush. I'm using a thick brush today because I want to show you um, that you can create a beautiful painting without having to uh, be super detailed or have a ton of talent, really. 
Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm just using a larger brush and I'm starting off with some beautiful blue paint. I'm just using acrylics today. I would love to learn how to use oils in the future. Um, but I already told you guys, I am a beginner, <laughs> brand new at this. So I'm just kind of sharing what I've learned. I like to keep the sky sort of darker towards the top of my painting. And then as it gets closer to the horizon, I will lighten it up. So um, I am taking my blue and mixing it with some white and just using large brush strokes to kind of get the majority of the painting covered in this beautiful blue color. The next thing I like to add are my clouds and I'm not being super picky today. This is just, you know, for sake of uh, illustration and example, um, I would probably go back and work on these clouds <laughs> much more if this were a painting I wanted to sell. but. Uh, I'm just sort of creative with my clouds and I'm using a photo sort of for reference to see how the clouds are shaped and what I've noticed about clouds is that they're really billowy and puffy up on top and then they kind of flatten um, around the bottom. Not always actually, but that's how I'm painting them today and um, I'll go back with some more white to kind of highlight some of the areas of the cloud that I want to highlight and then I'll use some deeper blues to, to add some shadowing and depth to the clouds as well. So as I begin to work my way towards the horizon, um, I'm gonna start off with a softer green. If you've ever looked out onto a landscape, you'll notice that when um, you see what's real far away, it's very faint and light. And so I can, I'm just using a really soft light green that I've mixed with a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, a tiny bit of blue, and I'm just creating a rough, horizon there <laughs> nothing fancy using the same brush I just sort of wipe it off with a paper towel as I paint and uh, you don't have to be super picky here And then I'll use a darker green in front of that soft green uh, for <clears throat> the area that's sort of in front of that soft green. And uh, that will end up tricking your eye into thinking that that area is closer. Um, and then I just like to go through and add some interest. I'll add some trees, some bushes and I really like to use that dark brown for shading and depth <clears throat> and, I, and I always try to decide where my sun is going to be where my lights coming from and I'm consistent with the shadowing and I'll try to keep the shadows you know uh, all consistently on one side of each of the trees and brush and bushes whatever I'm painting I'm going to follow up with some yellow to sort of mimic some wheat fields here in the very forefront of the painting. And uh, for the wheat, I'm just mixing some yellow and cream and white. So just like the green, I'm lightening up the yellow uh, further towards the back and then uh, closer to the forefront, I'm just making a, it a little bit darker by adding a little more yellow and just a touch of green and uh, I'll just use my brush to kind of give the illusion of uh, wheat growing. 
And then finally, I'll just follow up with a few little bushes and trees um, kind of speckled into the yellow wheat area. And that is really it. That's all I've done for this painting. Um, nothing super fancy, like I said, nothing very detailed, but hopefully you guys can kind of get the idea that you don't have to be a, a super talented artist to create a beautiful landscape. Um, but hopefully these tips helped you and hopefully they've sort of encouraged you to give landscape painting a try. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that process and again, be sure to click the link in the description below to read the full blog post. If you don't have time to paint now or you don't have the supplies, head to the blog post anyways. Save it, pin it for later, and then you can refer back to it when you have some free time and all the supplies you need. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Bye guys.